Hey guys, in this video I'm going to test what is the battery capacity after three years of use. Right here is the LFP pack. Nominal capacity of this pack is a 460 amp hours and this is 48 volts battery. I did build this three years back with a grade A cells. I purchased this from a BLS battery. All cells have QR codes and serial numbers and original price for these cells was about 50% more expensive than cells I can buy from AliExpress. After building this pack, I did test capacity and it was 457 amp hours. For my original build, I did few changes here. First, I did replace Chargery BMS to JK BMS. And with the Chargery BMS, it was a few issues. First one, it's using for charge and discharge relays and those relays consuming about 40 baht. And second problem with the Chargery BMS, it was not reading cells voltage correctly, which is of course uh, critical for BMS. So I did replace this with a JK BMS with an active balancer. And so far for two years, it works, it works great. Only once I was not able to connect to my phone, so I did disconnect balancing leads, activated BMS back and it works fine. Also, I did replace fuse with a class T fuse. It's installed right there. And uh, I did install Victron shunt. I'm not using this Victron shunt much, but for today's test, I'm going to check capacity using this shunt. For battery usage, uh, I have set parameters to discharge about 20% state of charge and to charge till 80% state of charge. For discharge, I never exceed 80 amps, which is uh, about 0.2 C rating, even less. And the charging, um, I'm charging with a solar. My solar array is 3.5 kilowatts and the charging never exceeded 70 amps, which is 0.15 C rating. So it's very gentle use of these batteries. And uh, I can estimate, roughly I can estimate uh, that um, uh, every three days I have full cycle for this battery, discharging and charging 450 amp hours. It's a rough estimate, of course. So for three years, it's about, uh, uh, divided by three, it's 365 cycles for this battery pack in, in the three years. I have few issues with this battery bank. First one is um, when we are reaching 80% uh, plus state of charge, all cells going out of balance. JK BMS helping to balance them back, but for this size of battery bank, of course, it's slow. So to solve this problem, I have to charge up to 80% to 54, 55 volts. So it's never reaching like high state of charge. And another issue I found today when I did open this cabinet, which is really upset me, that uh, all cells on the top are swollen. So if we check right here, we can see that uh, especially this row, we have these cells going up. I'm not sure how, how it's going to be affect performance, but um, this is what we have. For improvements for this battery bank, first, of course, after seeing these uh, cells swollen, is going to be to clamp these cells so they cannot move much. And uh, another improvement is to use a BMS, which can communicate with inverter. So we can control uh, charge and discharge using communication between batteries, not just voltage. Now I'm going to fully charge this bank till 3.6 volts per cell. And uh, let's see what is the capacity for this battery bank. And the battery is fully charged right now. We are at 57.4 volts. I'm going to configure inverter to discharge battery, reset uh, Victron shunt to zero, and we'll see tomorrow what is the capacity for this battery bank. Also, I'm going to disconnect PV switch to make sure we're not uh, charging from the panels, even it's night right now. And uh, here's our test begins. And uh, here we are in the morning, battery at 45 volts, fully discharged. And here's the capacity from Victron Shunt application. And I've got 431.2 amp hours, which is a 5.6% loss from its original capacity. At this point, I really doubt that I'm gonna get 4000 cycles till 80% of capacity as it's advertised for these cells. Because if, if loss is gonna be linear in 1200 cycles, it's gonna be 80% of capacity. And uh, considering how much time I did spend for this battery, considering issues that I have with this battery, I'm curious if it makes sense to buy 
uh, batteries from manufacturer because right now we have a lot of choice we have less known brands such as EFG we have very well-known brands such as EG4 we have batteries which is certified in California such as the stock rock or Pites batteries and all of these batteries uh, uh, have own enclosure it has nice BMS and communication with inverter so and the price dropped a lot uh, since i built this battery so i'm really curious to hear your experience if you did build battery yourself if, if you do have same issues such as the swollen cells if you do have issues with the bms if you have a problem with the imbalanced cells please let me know i'm really curious to hear your experience and i do hope you enjoyed this test and as always thank you for watching and see you later